Well, Monday is uh, generally my day off. And uh, last Monday, my wife and I were really looking forward to being together. It had been a busy season and, you know, stuff was going on and the kids were just back in school. And so we were going to have one of our surf dates that we try to have Monday mornings. And we were just getting ready to head to the beach and I got a call from my daughter's school. They said, Daisy's fallen down. And uh, she doesn't look good. She's having a hard time staying conscious. And she had vomited and stuff. And uh, Daisy had told the lady that was caring for her, you need to call 911. I need to go to the doctor. So my wife and I kind of rushed out there and grabbed her. and took her to the emergency room and they could tell that something was real wrong and they started examining her and they thought that she had ruptured her spleen on the fall and they did a CAT scan and stuff after doing a quick ultrasound and one of the doctors came and said That's, that mass that we're seeing in her abdomen is not blood um, it's a tumor and it was about the size of a Nerf football. It went from down inside her pelvis bone all the way up to in her diaphragm against her lungs. It took up more than 50% of her abdominal cavity. After we had been in there a while, they came in and they said, well, we, we think that your daughter has cancer. We think it's a Wilms tumor, and it's the biggest one we've ever seen here, and we're going to have to operate. And so we had been talking with the surgeon, and the surgeon said, you know, it's really, it's really big. He didn't seem real confident that he was going to get it out, and so we started praying, and you guys started praying, and, and people were praying all around the world, and we heard of whole churches that were praying around the world. and. Thursday morning, she had that operation at 7.15 a.m., and, and miraculously and wonderfully, they got the whole, the whole tumor out. When they got the tumor out, we talked to the, the surgeon afterwards, and he said the tumor had been hemorrhaging into her, her body, which makes it stage three cancer. But we're looking at seven months of uh, chemotherapy and probably radiation ahead of us. Jesus, we say together this morning that you are greater and more wonderful than anything else in life. We say together this morning, Jesus, that we trust you in good times and in bad times. In sickness and in health, we are wed to you, Lord, and we trust you. You are the God who gives and you're the God who takes away and blessed be your name. Say together this morning that you are a faithful God. Say together that your loving kindness is better than life, O oh Lord. We ask that you'd speak to us and bless us together morning in Jesus name. Amen.
not fear the wind We will not fear the waves I can feel your calm within yeah. When this life is shaken By raging seas We are not gonna be afraid walk again this love is stronger than the blood that beats my heart this love is deeper than the blood that beats my heart this love is stronger than the blood that beats my heart this love is stronger than the blood that uh, first follow-up in May, and then we're cruising after that. Generally after that, we do about every six weeks. Okay. Follow-up with every three-month Befriended all our pain, all that we might rise again. You stole my sickness, rested in my disease. Oh, that I might rest in thee And you alone bring healing For you I wait We are not gonna be afraid So if you walk on waves and wind Hold my hands and I'll walk again Love is stronger than the term is no evidence of disease. Okay. Okay. Now you can call that remission. I'm I'm happy using that word. Um, and the thing that we want to do is we want to see her in a sustained remission until she's out about three years off therapy. At three years off therapy, we then declare a cure because what we see is that. The relapse rate, once you get three years off therapy, drops pretty much off to zero. Okay. And that's if your relapse rate is zero, pretty much we pull out a cure. Okay. Okay. I love you, my heart this love is deeper than the pain of all these scars this love goes farther than the hope and answers arms this love is stronger is strong enough for me Daisy, what happened today? Um, I had um, no cancer. No more cancer? It's all done? What are you going to do now? Um, this, I have treatments with no flesh and, and I'm poor out. Like they put me to sleep, then, then, then they cut a little thing and they pop it out. That's going to be great. Then where are we going? To Hawaii. Yeah. And in Legoland, too. And I'm going to SeaWorld. Oh, True yeah. True story. And what do you want to say to all the people? Thanks for praying for me.